गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी आई एम अगेन बैक विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग फेस प्रेजेंटेशन हियर आई वुड लाइक टू फोकस मोर ऑन दी क्लिनिकल आस्पेक्ट स्पेशली दी रैशेज और वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग टू द चाइल्ड सो डैट इट मेक्स इट मोर अंडरस्टैंडेबल दिस वॉज ए नाइन मंथ ओल्ड बेबी मेल बॉय हु केम टू आस ओनली येस्ट डे इन दी एमरजेंसी विद हिस्ट्री ऑफ having nodule uh, nodularities on the back and with history of some bluish discoloration of the skin for about 10 days the child got admitted yesterday with the complaints of bleeding from the right ear so when the child had come there was some bleeding occurring in the right side of the ear well as i said apparently well 10 days ago started having uh, rashes on the body it's not exactly a rash is basically a petechial rash and ecchymotic spots occurring on the face as well as on the back for about 10 days now with the history of appearance this child there is no history of any uh, having received any medications there is no history of having any alteration of sensorium or any seizures there is no history of any hematuria or bleeding per rectum and there was no history of any joint swellings so with these complaints a male child comes to us with ecchymotic or rashes on the body and nodularities at the back i'll show you the uh, focus on the child uh, photographs i'll show you uh, while i'm doing the examination now having said that the child was not uh, has not received as i said any medications and before that i let me go to the history now the birth history the birth was in the in the village though the mother says it was an institutional delivery but there was there is very doubtful history of any having received any vaccination or any injection at the time of delivery but it was a term baby since then as i said the child is 9 months of age and 9 months of age the child has been exclusively being breastfed child has not been started on any complementary feeds so that is becomes very important now <coughs> exclusively breastfeeding i moreover there was no family history of having bleeding disorder so there the child has never the there has been no history of any bleeding in through the family so if i asked you these are the few things by history as i always say you make 60 to 70% of the time you try to make a diagnosis so i insisted on i dwelled on few things probably you can always say that what could be your differential as i said these are ecchymotic spots no family history male child no other history of uh, as i enumerated i don't want to repeat it so what by history you would like to keep in mind 1 2 3 on so the basis of history the first thing that i would like to keep in mind would be some hey ek minute aap ye lijiye ha disorder of the coagulation pathway most likely coagulation maybe pathway. Uh, maybe hemophilia hemophilia a hemophilia should always be kept as possible kept because as possible. it is just by history yes sir. so this child maybe at 9 months of age the child has come with the bleeding and a male child i am insisting so hemophilia common things always common so one thing you keep in mind is the hemophilia yes. right anything else you can keep in mind mm-hmm. so with this history so you have a coagulation disorder coagulation. it could be hemophilia, hemophilia a it could be hemophilia b hemophilia. of course commonly it is hemophilia a yes. so that is by the history now and i'll go on to the examination the examination when we did the child isko thoda focus kijiye doctor sir the child is quite conscious child is alert abhi to consciousness dikhao na uski child is quite alert then the it is child is an afebrile child there is no jaundice there is no lymphadenopathy and then you will see uh, i i can show you that this child has got this child has got anterior fontanelle's level so this 9 months old baby fontanelle is normal 
एंड देर आर नो अदर थिंग एक्सेप्ट विच आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू इसको थोड़ा आगे करो शक्ल दिखाओ इसकी हाँ ये देखिए नाउ यू कैन सी दीज दी चीक्स इज वेरी वेल्स वोलन द लेफ्ट चीक एंड यू कैन सी कोई ऊपर देखो दी दी चाइल्ड इज इज फोलन यू हैव अकीमोटिक स्पॉट हेयर एंड देन यू कैन सी पीछे देखो यू हैव नॉडिलर यू हैव नॉडिलर परप्यूरास एट द बैक सो यू हैव ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन दी परप्यूरास वाई एम सेंग परप्यूरास बिकॉज दे आर दे आर नॉडिलर दैट मीन्स ए डीप सीटेड ब्लीडिंग एंड ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट ऑन द स्किन ऑफ इट दिस इज लिटिल ब्लूइश सो वी कॉल इट गिव इज द नेम एज नॉडिलर परप्यूरा विच इज देर आगे करो बीवी इसको आगे करो शक्ल दिखाओ पेट दिखाओ पेट बिटाओ इसको so this even you can see on the uh, abdomen there are few acimotic spots and acimotic spot on the face so with all this history uh, with all, the vitals were well maintained the pulse rate was heart rate was about 100 respiratory rate was about 34 spo2 98 you can see the child now absolutely conscious baby and on examination the systemic examination of this child was normal सीस चेस्ट चेस्ट एंड सीवियस फॉर नॉर्मल एबडामन में इसका लिवर वॉज अबाउट थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स नो स्प्लिंग पैल पेपर और बेस्ड ऑन दट हिस्ट्री एंड नाउ आई हैव शोन यू दी नॉर्डलैरिटीज नाउ होम एंड होम डू आई आस कावे इज देर नाउ यू टेल मी विद ऑल दिस हिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन हिस्ट्री वॉट विल बी योर डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ही मेड द डायग्नोसिस बेस्ड ऑन हिस्ट्री as hemophilia and rightly so now with all the history and examination what would you like to say hemophilia hemophilia yes sir i don't say by examination you can you see these kind of things can even occur in hemophilia but what other thing which you like to keep in mind um sir uh, firstly on the basis of examination since there are echinotic patches so mainly we have to focus the platelet disorders and the, uh, we have the coagulation disorders so uh, Uh, more of the examination is going towards the coagulation pathway defect so why uh, so you said platelet disorder huh. so if you have platelet disorder what especially you see on examination sir more petechi- importantly petechi- will would be more uh, sorry petechi will be more sir yeah petechi and ecchymosis will be more, more the yes, nodularities will be little less 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 so deep seated uh-huh. bleeding will be lesser yes sir <laughs> that is what you always say yes, the sir. differentiating point between bleeding disorder and coagulation, coagulation disorder disorders. that that is why i said i asked in the history yes, there sir. is no history of any joint pains yes, sir. common things yes sir. any history of hematemesis yes, any history of bleeding any history of hematuria Yeah. Yes. So these are visceral bleeds, which are much more common with the coagulation, coagulation. disorders. Yeah. Here the platelet disorders will not most of the time will present like this yes. that you have the deep seated nodular bleeding. But yes, low down you can still keep it. Keep it. So you keep it. One thing is platelet disorders. Anything else? <coughs> um sir uh, since the vaccination status is also not known so vitamin k deficiency so very good so what are the what are the so this is a child basically i must tell you here this is a child of hemorrhagic disease of infancy infancy hemorrhagic disease is of three type i mean varieties one is the early onset hdn then the classical hdn yes. and the late hdn yes. classical uh, the late, early hdn is especially when you get a history of any the mother getting some anti convulsants some anti uh, uh anti tubercular drugs so at that time the child might present within 24 hours with this with the bleeding yes, the classical hdn which you see in the nursery is the uh, well child starts having bleeding on the third day okay. and the child is looking well, well. but child is bleeding, bleeding. so that is one is the called classical hdn yes, which is basically because of the this, these are all because of the deficiency of the the vitamin k yes. and vitamin k factors are 2 7 9 10 9, 10 So if you have two seven nine ten, that means it is involving both the pathways, pathways. intrinsic as well as the extrinsic. So there is a classical. But sometimes, like in this child, <coughs> the points are: this child is nine months of age, has got uh, the problems, uh, the bleeding, purpuras. So a possibility and an exclusively breastfed baby. Yes, sir. Though I am not against uh, breastfeeding, but 
the problem is breast if the child is breast be breastfed for a very long period breast in the breast milk the vitamin k there is a deficiency so the vitamin k deficiency occurs in in the babies who are best best for a very long time the other thing is that this baby was born as you said institutionally but the nature of having received any injection is not known so vitamin k if it has not been given that is a risk factor for having for getting the hemorrhage disease of infancy in the later period in the infancy okay now i will just tell you that the what are the findings of the investigations investigation we got it done the hemoglobin is 8.5 so child is little pale <coughs> tlc is about 20000 though the child is a febrile platelet count of the child is 4.5 lakhs coagulation profile of the child was done the pt of this child is more than 1 minute with a control of 13.4 seconds only aptt was 180 seconds which is very high and the control was only 34 seconds so the child has got prolonged aptt the child has got prolonged pt with a normal platelet count theek hai to ab aapke paas mein a prolonged pt and aptt with a normal platelet count so it clearly shows that the now i ask one question which uh, you people should know especially the fellow i think my registrar is there darshita is there for the confirmation of the hemorrhage disease of infancy what test i should get it done sir first we should do basic hemogram with peripheral smear that we have done it. Yes, my sir. question is different my yes, question is for the confirmation of the diagnosis of hdn what test is required sir pivka yeah like, what is pivka protein induced vitamin k uh, absence uh, absence so when there is absence of the vitamin k yes, there are the protein induced because it is required in many uh, cycles so protein gets it is protein induced because of vitamin k deficiency there are so many other thing which is confirmatory so that is not done in most of the labs but the confirmation test is called pivka this is sometimes a question which is asked in the neat exam also that what are the confirmatory test for the uh, vitamin k deficiency so this is a child who is doing well now what i what do i do this is a child who is a correctable cause but i am very surprised that even in 2025 the we are getting these kind of patients solely because of the prolonged breastfeeding non i mean the teaching is not there she she has not been feeding this child the other risk factor of course it is not there in this child is sometimes we find a child may be having jaundice supposing this child gets this these things gets precipitated when you have a liver disorder because there is already a low formation of this 27910 and now on the top of it you have hepatitis so what is going to happen is they you they usually present like this in my earlier video i think is video number 16 if you go back i had sent a uh, presented a child who came to us with the seizures and this child had a bulging fontanelle and when we did the lp the lp had shown a hemorrhagic csf and i did the i got it done the three tube test and in the three tube test the it was a uniformly hemorrhagic so that means most likely it was a case of a subarachnoid hemorrhage now why i want to bring out bring out here is that most of the time it is written in the books that if you have hemorrhage disease of infancy they usually present with intracranial bleeds but then there are some case reports also when we i had also one case report earlier that these patients can also present not with intracranial bleeding but they can also present with the subcutaneous nodules or subcutaneous bleedings so this is what i wanted to show hemorrhage disease of infancy we'll give a vitamin k and vitamin k will be given 5 mg we can give iv and then it can be given iv for few days now my colleague was asking how frequently now if i ask somebody vitamin k is one thing it the action starts very early the onset of action starts within few hours and the duration of action lasts for 6 hours or so so it will be a very fast action we have already given one injection to the child in the morning and uh, now this child we will be following it up maybe after 2 or 3 days we get the coagulation profile again done 
and if the child is okay then we will encourage the child to be put on the complementary feed that's not the problem the only thing is we need to uh, emphasize the mother that you need the mother the child should get more much more uh, much more things in the diet that's all thank you